Hello, I'm Alicia. I am getting ready to do a new chapter in my life, new season, if you will. I am going to be starting a minimalist journey and take care of my excess clutter and stop feeling sorry for myself and feeling like I'm a bad mom and a bad wife and terrible housekeeper and it's all my fault and I I hate myself and all these things. I'm I'm tired of it and I'm going to try and really really you know jump into this. I've already started a little bit but didn't document it, but I think I would like to document this so that I can look back and see how far I've come because <laughs> I'm hoping that once I'm down to minimalist I like minimal items that I won't remember all the chaos that I had. And I'm already starting to feel really good about the things I have done. I've gotten a whole trunk full of stuff donated already. So that's very cool. But I'm going to just go around my house with the video just as it is. It's just, and it's just in Jan early January. So my Christmas stuff is still up, but I just want to document right now exactly how everything looks so that I can look back and go, you did great. So, cause I want to be, I want to look, I want to feel great. So yeah, let's turn around and look all of this stuff. So here is my bedroom and my husband's work spot and my bed's a mess. I haven't made it and I've got all of this here. Just tons of stuff in my closet. This is his things. And then here's all my chaos. Just junk and junk and junk and more junk. All right, and here's my bathroom. That's not too bad because I already cleared it off once. But I got all of this. And then under the cabinets. Again, it's not too bad because I just went through and pulled all the expireds recently. So here's my dining area. Chaos. My dining room table. This little cat. Corner stuffed with stuff. And then this hutch filled with family heirlooms. And those drawers are full. And then there's these things just sitting here. Here's my entryway. Of course, all my Christmas tree is up. But this is usually chaotic and cluttered with stuff as well. And this is usually cluttered with stuff. Right now it's not, obviously. But like I've got some family or got some memorabilia up here that probably should go in somewhere safe. And then my foyer. It's got all this stuff here. And there's this thing here. And this is usually on the floor over here in the way. And my couch is a collector's spot. I always throw all my shit right here. <laughs> this is where I sit. Can you tell? It's like I live in this little corner. And then all of this. Now my husband just fixed all the cords. So there was a ton of cords hanging here. And I can show you a picture of that. Um, and then all under here. I mean it looks like nice. But there's. That's fine. But like over here I've got a shoot ton of DVDs and VHSs. Things like that. Um, and then my kitchen. So my kitchen actually I'm. I've been working on, so there's not as much chaos as there was, but I mean, it's still freaking chaotic. But here's the one side, and this is another nice hot spot to catch all the things. And my stove, and then this is an area I need to work on too, full of clutter and just all my knickknacks and things that I like and are important to me. And then this thing is just a ton of it. Um, this corner here is going to be my pantry, but it's not yet. 
But these things are all full, so I can't even put some of these things that, that are on my counter away. Everything is full. So it's like I need to really go through it. Under here, I've got a ton of stuff I need to go through. But I did go down and got rid of all the pots I don't need. So I've only got three because there's one in the sink. And then three frying pans that I use all the time. And then down here, I got down to just the bare bowls that I usually use all the time. And just a few of the pans. I got rid of the duplicates that I didn't need. Excuse me, cat. <laughs> Sprout. You don't need to go in there. Nosy. Same thing with my baking dishes. I only did, kept the two that I usually use all the time. I went through my spice rack and got rid of a lot. This was really full at one point. Now you can see it's not too bad except for it's just people have just thrown stuff in there. Same with that. I mean, just nice. Just, I've already worked on clearing out some things. And some of these drawers I probably can or cabins I can reutilize with maybe some of this. I got rid of a bunch of cups, some down to my four glasses, and then we each, we're gonna keep like a tumbler that we use for water all the time, and then a couple of our favorite mugs, and um, all my coffee tea stations right above that. Same with our plates. Tupperware, and then I've got my Christmas stuff up here, which I don't use except for at Thanksgiving and Christmas, but it's high up in the way, or out of the way, so there's my kitchen, and my laundry room, and yeah, that's where the cats go, and there's like a sweater up here that probably should go in the wash, <laughs> and just some clutter up here. There's some clutter over here, you know, and try to have some floor space to do things. I'd like to put a shelf up here so I can put some things. This is such a wasted real estate right here. <laughs> but, and since I'm over here, I might as well show the garage and see why this is going to be a fun project to do. I mean, we've got a lot of stuff cleared out and I've got, gone through a box or two, but... This is, this is going to be a lot of work, a lot of work for me, because <laughs> a lot of this is memorabilia and sentimental items, and though I haven't seen them in a while, I know they're there, I just have to go through them, but there's a lot of junk too, like I've looked through some boxes and going, well, I don't need this, I've gotten rid of it, uh, our camping corner and outdoor thing is just chaotic. I'd like it to be more functional and not have to move stuff to get to stuff. And then this, I oh got, I don't know. It's just, there's a lot of junk. There's a lot of duplicates. There's a lot of things that do we need this, you know. He's got such a nice little uh, workbench area and a table that has to be covered up because there's no room for anything. <laughs> And now we're in my daughter's room, who also has too much inventory. Hello. Sorry, my daughter busted in, so I was like, wait, hold on. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's got a lot of stuff that we need to go through as well. And she obviously has apparently more clothes than she needs because they're all over the floor. So we definitely will need to be going through that. She herself has gotten rid of so much that, you know, it's you know, her AFMO <laughs> collection. Um, but she's gotten rid of so much already, so she doesn't have a lot of, like, a lot of stuff, but she has a lot of clothes, so we're going to have to go through all of that as well. And then here is the guest room slash throw it all in here room. So, like... There's a ton of stuff I have to go through here and, you know, over here, there's a ton of craft supplies. And then this closet is full, full, full of stuff and I, uh, it's going to be a, a beast. So yeah, 
so that's where I'm headed and gonna start working on stuff and I'll put more videos out when I get to each section and I hope that I can look back on this and go how you know be not be embarrassed of where I was because we just you know we were not we were not trained as kids on how to organize your home or manage your home and your your house is a reflection of who you are and all this bullshit and unfortunately our parents weren't taught either and their parents weren't taught I mean nobody knows how to do these things so there's no way to train it down thankfully we have YouTube today and I can find others that have suffered like I have and found out what they've done over the years like I'm currently following Dawn the minimal minimalist mom channel and she's got some really clear things that I'm I'm interested in um, putting use putting to use so hope you can uh, enjoy coming along with me and not feel bad about yourself because you're awesome and this is not your fault this is years and years and decades of marketing telling you stuff that you needed and you can do this and yeah the the way I feel after a, a section is clean is and or and like decluttered is is like so huge. It makes me feel amazing. Like I can do this. This is awesome. So, um, yeah, come with me on my journey.